The indigenous people have always been open to modern technology. They've used new tools brought in from settlers for farming, hunting, and crafting. This film will illustrate how modern technology such as iPad, internet, and social media can be beneficial to tribes today and where to draw the line. It can be real beneficial, but uh, there's times that things aren't allowed because it gets out of hand. What you might want to consider private or whatever, before you know it, you're going to have it on YouTube, you know, somewhere else. And sometimes you just have to be careful. It, it, it can be used for uh, a dance or, or one of the things that haven't been done in a long, long time. You can record it and show it as a demonstration. This is how it used to be. This is how it was. And, and, and learn from it. I started uh, this language program, uh, the program that I started, I started uh, on a old broken uh, uh, computer that they were throwing away, that the Central Indian School was throwing away, and I, and I asked if I could have it. And, uh, and so it was still had the floppy disk or whatever they call it. The little, but anyway, uh, on that is where I started uh, started uh, uh, writing my uh, language. One of the things I was talking to the other interviewer about was the need for documenting our our living history. The people we've lost a number of elders this two, past two years, a great number of them. And I know with my own family that when I look back to my great grand, my great grandfather, that I know his name. I've seen a photograph of him. I know he was a tribal official, but that's about all I know. I have one aunt left who could probably fill in the blanks. Many tribes struggle with preserving their language. Here's an example on a new way elders can use technology to pass it on to the next generation. This is a Texas to my son. Hoi Navi Ta e a yeah Yo I Hama is here my son uh little elk moving your spirit name is this what he says your spirit name uh, and then it goes out to tell him that he that the work that he does is spiritually it's for life, seeking for life. And so I tell him to be strong, a strong man and a strong woman because in the in our world the man is a uh, man, man and woman. We are combined. We're, we're both men and we're both women. Women are only women, but men are both. And so I tell him to be a strong man, a strong woman, to uh, to uh, to seek for life until he he wins the life. But I think Facebook is a different approach. Mm -hmm. I think through Facebook it reaches people that shouldn't maybe know about it, but like one-on-one, -on -one, it's just to my son. My culture is very sacred. Sometimes it shouldn't be placed in the spotlight. So where do we cross the line between culture and technology? It, it can't be used culturally all the time because there are things that happen and we just can't. But if it's okay with some of the elders, then we're fine. The youth, the youth of today, in order to survive in the future, it's something that they have to learn to use. And right now they're, they're doing it. And uh, accepting it is a big part. That we need to record the day-to-day, -day, the living history, not the ancient history, you know, but but what's going on now and how those people contributed to what our tribe is today. Today, Native people have used these tools to become lawyers, doctors, artists, journalists, film directors, professors, radio personalities, and pioneers, and the list will continue to go on. These are the people who strive to keep our heritage and traditions alive. <laughs>